tornado bore down on her grandparents' home, Ari's parents, Shane and Jennifer, rushed to help. We got in there right at the head. The tornado threw Ari over 200 yards onto a neighbor's property. It's a miracle that she survived and that we did find them. I had to carry Ari about a half mile to the ambulance because nobody got her out of my arms. I had to get her out of there. Although most people who get swept up in a tornado never live to tell about it, there are a lucky few who survive. The farthest distance documented that a person was carried and lived to tell about it is 1,307 feet, nearly a quarter mile. This time, only Ari and one of her cousins were the lucky ones. She was rushed to the hospital in nearby Huntsville, Alabama. I had this horrible feeling because I kept trying to call my daughter and she would never answer. Probably 10, 12 times I tried to call her and I was getting very upset and we got to the hospital and I saw Ari laying in a hospital bed and she had a thing around her, her neck. Um, she was in a back brace. Uh, she had uh, all kinds of wires and things. And I was looking at her and I was like, is this Ari? And I said that, I said, is this my Ari? And um, there was a lady there and she, she said, yes, this is Ari. I know I started screaming. I can remember screaming and falling in the floor. And I said, something's got to be terribly wrong if Jennifer and Shane are not here. Later, a close family member confirms Susan's worst nightmare. But she had to overcome her grief to be strong for Ari. My son came and told me, he said, Mom, he said, you've got to calm down. You've got to quit crying. And if you want to go with Ari, he said, Ari needs you right now. Ari asked her grandmother about her parents. I didn't want to ask because I'm like, OK, maybe they're just in another hospital room. Maybe they're on their way or something. Uh, and finally, uh, I asked, Where, where's my mom and dad? She's like, Ari, they didn't make it. I found out that my mom, my dad, my baby cousin, and my dad's parents didn't survive. Ari escaped with a broken collarbone and stitches in her head and back, ultimately spending three days in the ICU. But she doesn't attribute her survival to only the doctors. My dad was holding me so tight that it caused lung damage in one of my lungs. They said that he's probably what saved your life. And so I call my dad my hero. But her parents were gone, just like in her premonitions. The dreams that she had had for so many weeks that had reassured her were not going to happen, had really happened. They like asked me, how, how do you know that that was going to happen? And I'm just like, because Jesus told me. He sent it into my dreams. At her parents' service, a woman approached her who found something else that had miraculously survived the storm. Something crazy happened, and the lady from Tennessee came, and she had a picture. It went through the tornado. It was my mom's picture of me and my dad. And it didn't even have one tear in it. In a vortex powerful enough to kill five people, a photo had traveled more than 80 miles unscathed. Like it was a miracle that the picture survived through the tornado. I mean, those pictures just fine. I mean, it wasn't wet, it wasn't, I mean, it's was just weird. What happens is that the debris gets ingested into the tornado, and then that gets pulled up into the updraft and then carried downwind by the jet stream winds. It could be 100 miles away and ends up in somebody's backyard. Very little in the tornado's wake could be salvaged. The damage inflicted put the twister at an EF4 rating, one level shy of the strongest tornado known to man, with maximum wind speeds of up to 200 miles per hour. Concrete power poles were bent at the base. Metal bolted buildings were wiped out. A 16-mile path scoured the area, 
At least that's what's recorded by scientists. In a final uncanny event, young Ari describes taking a totally different journey inside the twister. I believe that I went to heaven after the tornado. Is it possible she experienced a miracle in the eye of the storm, entering another realm or dimension? Or was she undergoing a near-death experience? I absolutely believe Ari went to heaven. What really happened to Ari Hallmark that tragic day?